Hey everyone, please support what I do to help keep Greyhawk alive by subscribing to the channel. Also, please consider becoming a channel member to get early access to videos, exclusive live chats, quarterly adventure modules, and more. Thanks, and enjoy the show. So, Kyle Brink, the executive producer of Dungeons & Dragons, uh, was interviewed the other day, and he made some pretty insensitive and awful remarks. And I just wanted to give a little response today on Greyhawk Ragnar. So Kyle Brink was on the Three Black Halflings uh, uh, show the other day. Uh, I will put a link to the video, to the full video below. Um, and the first part of it was great. He's asked, answering questions about the OGL and the whole process and who did they talk to and, you know, good stuff like you would expect people would want to hear about after the whole OGL fiasco. And then about 30 minutes in, the whole thing veers to the left and gets really political and uh, and and so forth. And then uh, Kyle comes up with this. More and more. Um, this, you know, look, guys like me, we're, we're leaving uh, the workforce, to be blunt. And we're also not, this is not the face of the hobby anymore. I'm not the majority of this hobby anymore. Uh, and I, I, and so it's important to me that my team of creators look like my players and have the lived experience that my players do. Uh, and I think there's been mistakes made in years past where people assumed that D and D players were all, you know, white dudes in a basement, um, which is, which has been a faulty assumption for a lot of years and gets more and more false every day. Uh, and so it's in my viewpoint, honestly, guys like me can't, can't leave soon enough, um, for this hobby. Uh, and okay, Kyle, um, I got to tell you, that was a pretty awful thing to say. White guys are dying off out of the hobby, and it can't happen quickly enough. Okay, first of all, I'm not planning on going anywhere for a long, long time. So you can shuffle yourself out of the hobby if you want, because you think there should be fewer people like you in it. But I have no intention of doing that. Um, uh, from my perspective, I don't think we should be worrying about hetero, cis, white men gamers um, any more than we should be worrying about LGBTQ disabled black gamers or whatever. Um, we're all just gamers. Can't we just be gamers? Why do we have to say, oh, this kind of gamer is bad and we need fewer of them and if they die off, it's better? And this kind of gamer is good because I don't know why. Um, we we shouldn't be looking at it in those f from that perspective, right? I think we should just say we need more gamers. And if some of those gamers are going to be hetero cis white guys like me, that's great. And if other gamers are going to be LGBTQ black female gamers, that's great. And if some of them are disabled, it's, that's great. And if some of them are not, that's great. And if some of them eat meat, that's great. And if some of them are Republicans, that's great. And if some of them are Democrats, that's great. It shouldn't matter. We're all just gamers. Stop trying to vilify certain kinds of gamers. We're all gamers and more gamers of any kind is good. And that's my take. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Below you'll find links to my Patreon, which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store where you can buy my books, and my blog where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks, and have a great day.